Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Oluchi Imo and on this channel I share cake business tips. I talk about personal development, I do story time vlogs, tutorials as well and you're welcome. If you're a newbie, you're most welcome. We're glad to have you in the family and for my old subscribers, thank you so so much for always being here. Today we are going into a topic which I know is very very important and a lot of you have requested for, a lot of you have you know been looking forward to this topic and i must say it is here now thank you so much for your patience all this while um cake pricing cake costing is not something that is very very easy to teach in theory because it's more of a practical subject it's more of a practical topic and so that's why i've not been able to bring it together or put myself together or put my thoughts together because it's it felt like it was going to be such a long video but as some of you know i had my mentorship program in april and one of my guest speakers taught us on the topic of cake pricing. Now, based on the request of my mentees that I had, I gave this topic to her to teach and she did justice to it, I must say. So I'll be sharing insights based on what she taught us there, credit to her. So I'll be bringing this point, she broke it down nicely and it was straight to the point, easy to understand. And I'll be sharing my take as well, sharing my insights as well, as insights as well sharing my insights as well <laughs> let me take that again sharing my insights as well to help you know how to properly cost and price your cake so you want to relax get a note and a pen and just start taking notes like i said this topic is not one that is very very easy because it's more of a practical topic than a theoretical theoretical topic than a theory topic so without further ado let's just get right into the video all right you're welcome back now in today's video we'll go right ahead into what she taught us so the first point she raised was your recipe cost is your recipe cost if you find me looking down i'm looking at my nose please so it's your recipe cost and that is what i would tag as your direct cost so these are the costs that are involved in making or baking your cake now so for more clarity and to push this message forward or to help you understand better i'm going to be using an eight inch chocolate cake for example so if you want to bake a chocolate cake a one layer chocolate cake you are going to be using some ingredients now i know that a lot of us there are butter based um chocolate cake and chocolate cakes and oil based chocolate cakes as well i use the oil based chocolate cakes and so I'll be working with this, all right? Now, what do you need for a chocolate cake, an oil-based chocolate cake? You need your oil, of course, you need your cocoa powder, you need your flour, sugar, you need your eggs, you need your flavor, you need, um, what else? You need um, buttermilk as well. So I think these are the basic ingredients that you need for your cake. Now, for the recipe cost or for the direct cost, you're gonna get the unit price of each of these items that you use. I forgot baking soda and baking powder as well, I think. So you're gonna add all these things. You're gonna break down all these things into the unit cost and know how much it would cost to get the lowest units you use in baking. So if, for example, you're using one cup of oil, you're gonna get the price or the cost of one, unit, one, um, one cup of oil. If it is butter you're using, you're gonna get the cost of 250 or 200 grams of um, or butter, as the case may be. You're gonna use, I, I hope I'm passing across the message. So you would say, I don't know how to put it, that's why, I, why because I'm supposed to be teaching and writing on the board as well. So I'm, I'm really struggling with, how to get this message across that i really get hope that you understand so you say or for for flour for example you say if a 50 kg of flour in nigeria flour is sold in bags or paint so however you buy it but let me use a bag for example so if you say for example 50 kg of flour is sold at let's say 15,000 naira you're going to ask yourself and you're going to break it down you're going to solve it to the point that you're going to get what it would cost for 250 grams of flour or one cup of flour or whatever you use in baking a one layer chocolate cake i do hope that you understand so that is for recipe cost you're going to list out those items or direct cost list out those items and write out the unit costs now we're going to move to uh, the second point and the second point is your indirect cost or your material cost or let me put it this way your sec the second point is your material cost or your indirect cost now these are the costs that are not directly related to baking that cake but you need this item surely for making that cake so this includes your cake boards your cake boxes 
your ribbons, your what else would you need, um, um, your colors, all the things that you need that um, you need are essential to making that cake but are not directly involved in baking the cake. So you list them out and also get the unit cost of these items. I believe you're clear with that. So it just goes with you listing out, listing out the things that you need to get um, to achieve or to get your cakes ready. So that's that for material costs. I hope that it is clear and I hope that you do understand. So your cake board or your cake drum, as the case may be, how much is it? Your dowel rods, how much is it? So if you have five dowel rods in a pack and that pack is sold for 500, this is just an example. It means that a dowel rod costs 100 naira. So that is the unit cost for that material you're using for your cake, which is an indirect cost. So I hope that this is clear. Now the third cost is the overhead cost. And she referred to this as the cost that you cannot run your business without. Now, these are the costs that keep your business going, that keep your business, you know, moving forward. That just basically keep it going. Things like your, your data costs, things like your gas, things like your staff salary, things like your utility bills, NEPA bill, um, sorry, <laughs> light bill, things like your light bill, your gas, I've mentioned gas before, your overhead basically, the cost of fuel, running your gen, whatever it is, if you're not used to, if you don't have your, um, that in your location, all the other things, your overhead and um, things like your rent as well fall into this category. So you're going to break them down. Now the breaking down is where you need some <laughs> a bit of um, your your mathematical skill or, or, or sense or ability coming through. So you need to know how to calculate and get the units costs for these things. All right. So that is the third point and I'll be moving straight ahead to the fourth point. Now the fourth point she raised is the hourly rate or your wage. So how much do you charge yourself per hour? And this cost differs from baker to baker and I would say is majorly or let me say a major factor in determining this cost is your skill level. So if your skill is not up to that of a pro, you're not going to put so much um, um, cost to how much you charge yourself per hour. If you do that, one thing that would happen with this is that it's going to shoot up your cake price. It's going to shoot up your cake price. And now this hourly rate covers when you start baking from the moment you start baking to the end of when you start baking. It includes your washing up, it includes your baking, your decorating, your cleaning up, your box, your boxing the cake, packaging the cake everything that has to do with that so if you decide to charge yourself um a 2000 naira using naira because of course i am in nigeria if you decide to charge yourself 2000 naira per hour and it takes like eight to ten hours for you to make a cake it means that what you're charging yourself is twenty thousand naira i hope i'm right so if you use two hour two thousand naira per hour it means that at the end of the day if you work 10 hours you're going to get 20,000 naira as your hourly wage now imagine that you have a cake cost of maybe by the time you add your your direct indirect and overhead cost you are arriving at something like 15,000 naira and then you add your 20,000 naira so it's imagine what you have at the end of the day all right so it's important that you choose something that is realistic and something that will not chase your customers away when it comes to fixing your hourly rate now your hourly rate is also where you have your profits according to worship total so you want to know how to just find a middle ground and somewhere that is not making and not going to make your cake too high or too low so your hourly rate is where you have your profits i know that there are some other custom methods that have it differently where you have a markup that is a certain percentage that you add to the cost of your cake so you want to know how to play around this how to work around this so that you end well for your cakes or you get paid well for your cakes at the end of the day and may i add that to this you should not forget your savings as well so when you're doing this put in mind that you're going to have some amount to save or to set aside for the rainy day or to set aside to take care of other needs aside your business so this point is very very critical very important and you shouldn't joke with it and you should treat it with care
All right. Now, the fifth point she talked about is your delivery fee or your delivery costs. Now, um, most of us and someone like myself, most times will find it a challenge. I know that I've lost even a cake sale based on the fact that I charged for delivery. Some people want you to just appear in their houses with these cakes without charging delivery, without charging a fee for delivery, but you have to let them understand, especially with the rising cost of things that the delivery fee is different from the cake fee some people use this method of incorporating it or just adding it together with the cake cost finding out the location adding it together with the cake cost and then presenting presenting it to the clients uh, that way together some people will say this is how much the cake costs and then this is how much it is for the delivery so it depends on what works for you what works for you and how your customers feel how you think they would react to that and uh, how you think they will take it or whatever works your boat whatever works fine for you so but include this it is not in your cake cost it is totally different it's a totally different service especially if you're using um, a cake company or a delivery hub you know that you need to remit the money to them it is not from the cake cost or from the cake the price you've charged for your cakes that you're going to pay the delivery company no 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 it's a separate cost that you need to consider when pricing your cakes the sixth point she mentioned is your task. So in Nigeria, we remit our taxes, which is the VAT to the FIRS, and it is 7.5%, which is remitted on or before the 21st of each month. That is if you're a registered business, you have a corporate account, you're a registered legal, reg legally registered business in Nigeria, and you have a corporate account, you have to remit your tax of 7.5% to the government. And this 7.5 it is not just like the point i mentioned before now it's not when you've charged your cake you now decide oh 7.5 percent of this charge is what that is what i'm going to take out to pay to the government you're only going to be reducing and short changing yourself so when you've costed your cake when you've done all this calculation gotten the cost of your cake you are going to now say what is 7.5 it needs to be five percent formally but uh, a review was there were changes made and it's became 7.5%. So you're going to ask yourself, if you've calculated everything at the end of the day and all the cost before now, turn, excluding the delivery fee, excluding the delivery fee, turns out to be like 30,000 or 35,000 naira, you're going to say, what is 7.5% of 30,000 naira? And you would add that amount to your cake so that at the end of the day, you can remit that as VAT or that as your task. I hope that it is clear. So I added the seven points, which is my own point. Yeah, I added mine, which is the seven points, which I tag as miscellaneous. Now, miscellaneous includes costs like the client wanting extra services, like maybe you're getting a bottle of wine or getting some fresh flowers or adding some chocolates, some like extra kind of chocolates, some special kind of chocolates or buying a card, those sort of things. So if the client is saying, I want this, can you help me do this? Can you help me add, get this? Can you help me add this to the delivery? Can you deliver this alongside the cake and all of that? You know that you're going to tell them, yes, I can. And then to the cost of that item, when you've made your inquiries, you're also going to add your transport or the tea fare or whatever it will cost you to get that thing it has to get it or to have it delivered to you so you don't do it for free you don't go to the mall for free to buy a card to add to that package you don't do such things for free they also come with a price and you're going to calculate this and add it to your cake cost and now what i've explained to you is what you call or regard as your base pricing base pricing i take it again it is your base pricing so when you have factored or figured all these things out and then you're not going to look at um that's why let me before i, before I lose my train of thought that's why you have um it, you, it could have cake a eight inches cake and then you could have cake b eight, still an eight inch cake but the prices are not the same because why because cake a is just a basic design simple easy no stress in quotes and then you have cake b which is also eight inches but it has chocolate it has um um sugar flowers or fresh flowers or it has some toppers on it or it has some it's quite detailed the pricing will not be the same so if you have 
a, you've, you have your base pricing for your your cakes and then somebody says oh i want i want you to build a, a i want you to put a castle a sugar castle on it so that it will look like this i want you to put some fresh flowers on it i don't want silk flowers i don't want this i don't want that you're going to calculate the cost of those things separately and add to your base pricing i hope that i've not lost my audience and i hope that you're not confused so this is what happened I am trying to explain to you that what I've taught you now or what she explained is also something is also refers to referred to as your base pricing. So that's why an 8 inch buttercream cake would be an 8 inch buttercream cake with maybe just chocolate drapes and then a happy birthday topper would be different from an 8 inch cake buttercream with fresh flowers. I hope that you understand this point and I hope that you find them um, easy and I, find, I hope that you find it easy for you to understand how to go about this. Now, please allow me announce our classes. The classes are out and um, the, the outline is also out. The fondant class is out. In addition to the fondant class, which is 3,500 Naira, Nigerian Naira, you're going to be having a fruits and veggies class. You'll be learning how to make carrot, tomatoes, onion, onion slice, um, apple, um, tomatoes, pepper, a couple of veggies, fruits and veggies, sugar fruits and veggies that you can use for your cakes. And then we also have the buttercream class that comes with two bonus fillings recipe for your cakes. We also have the rich fruit cake class, um, which which other one? I have the Swiss meringue buttercream recipe class and a couple of others. So please check them out. I'm gonna leave the link down below, and you also have it on my community tab. Check and find out which suits your need, and then please sign up for those classes. You requested for them, and I've brought those classes for you. So please do not <laughs> just just pass like you did not see it for all those requesting. For all those requesting for the fondant class, it is here, 3,500 and you get a bonus. So please, please, please sign up, sign up, sign up. I hope that this class has been beneficial to you. I hope that you've learned a lot from this video and I hope that it brings some clarity to you um, in your cake pricing and your cake costing, okay? Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to hit the like button so that this video gets to as many people that need it and to leave me a kind comment. Until I see you in the next video, stay happy, stay safe, and stay blessed.